Let me ask a question, moving away from the security issue mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, the, let's say the major ERP systems which have, let's say, joint venture accounting, how does it interface with your typical uh, allocations packages and pull the data into the ERP systems? Is there? Yeah, well, certainly for us, it's uh, we've been doing it for several years. It's it's it's. Um, it's clearly defined in all of the agreements, you know, the data that we uh, have to report on daily, weekly, monthly, annually. We've got obligations that we have to do that. But the, um, the revenue side, the accountancy side, they will require, you know, that same information. So um, uh, there, is, there are one or two automated systems where the data is readily available. They can just pull it directly from a database running a, a sort of script of their own, but it's, it's all controlled. Um, or they, uh, they just simply use the reports that we send them, you know, and those reports that's, that's automatically I was, I feed in. figure out because the joint venture account, I see, let's say we see, these are my figures. Mm -hmm. Where do the figures come from? Now, Absolutely. No, we make sure that we, 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 uh, we have, you know, we have um, direct contact with our own financial yeah. revenue accounting people within Apache. Um, out with Apache as well, obviously, but um, again, I think one of the things I touched on was that it's having the knowledge of the people producing the information, mm -hmm. and then you educating those others mm -hmm. um, uh, correctly to say, well, this is what this piece of information is, this is what it's about, this is what you will need. Or I think what I've found is lacking is that quite often I'll get a call from someone in my own company uh, in Apache calling saying, well, I've got this re report up. Can you tell me what that means? And I'm saying, well, you should know what it means. Why are you asking me? Mm -hmm. So I end up having to, you know, re-educate it. I think, well, you should know this by now. You know, that, that's the asset you support. And if you had any uh, um, sort of a doubt before, you should have come and asked. Um, or equally, they'll get a report in from another external user where they have a shared partnership in you know, further downstream, yes. and they'll get this monthly report back, and then they try to reconcile what this company is saying, and you've, that's the problem that, that we've seen. I think there's a, yeah. there's a big connection with, with what Arthur said about our industry. We, we, are, we live in an industry populated by engineers, to a large extent, and they know just enough IT to be dangerous. <laughs> and uh, as a result of that, whenever you have a conversation of that kind, the conversation starts talking about web services or XML, or so they talk about technology, and actually that's, to some extent, the easy bit. The question is, how does the person using this system yeah. guarantee the provenance of the data that he's he's got in it, and that, that it is consistent with the other systems yeah. that are that are involved in the value chain? And I really believe that's where hydrocarbon accounting has a big role to play, whether that's from the metering end, but right through to the invoices that are generated from Absolutely. SAP or Sage or whatever it is you've got. That, that in some senses there's somebody there who understands that those numbers are being used and not misused. That's why I was yeah. coming from making sure that what the, let's say, the joint venture accountant is, there's no discrepancy going down. Absolutely. How Correct. tight yeah. the data yeah. coming through is. So that's, that's all I'm trying to figure out. So Absolutely. From your end, yeah. if the data is tight enough, it will yeah. filter through. Well, by the very nature of our allocation system, we can't pick it up. It is fiscal, yeah. and if it's fiscal, therefore it's it's final. Okay. Obviously, you have mismeasurements, but yeah. you know it's not going to break the system yeah. per se. You know, but you know the the amount of data surveillance we put in each morning, checking all of this data that's coming in, and we have other systems that check us to check the system so that we don't make the mistake in the checking that we're doing. Yeah. Um, so that with a you know 99.9% degree of confidence, you can send information out that you know is valid it's representative and it will be you know, correctly used by the downstream accountants, the downstream marketeers or whatever. Um, uh, but I, I know exactly where you're coming from because we have one operator that sends us a report and every month without fail there's constant queries on this. And I, and I look at the numbers, where are you getting them from? They make no sense to me whatsoever. That's, that's what I'm it's like they've picked the rabbit out of the hat and they've just said, give me a number today because I need to fill that little box. No one ever thinks to <laughs> You know, yep. question the number. Oh, it's a number that'll do. Put it in there. Yeah. And we were talking earlier about units. We've even seen mm -hmm. people getting their units wrong quite often offshore. They're still mm -hmm. stuck in the imperial days of units, onshore it's metric, or even just talking in, in conversion with, with 
kilograms to tons to yeah. cubic feet to barrels to bushels to whatever you want <laughs> if they get it wrong and uh, we've seen it out by a factor of a thousand i've even seen it out by a factor of a million and no one thought to check that number as it started to filter through and it got to a point and someone said how did they not notice that for goodness sake that is just ludicrous there's no way that you can produce that amount the pipeline would have exploded by now but, <laughs> but nobody tried nobody saw it so why didn't they see it from the point so it's the failing of the origin, if you like, that the, there wasn't sufficient quality control at that point before it went through the system and nobody stopped it before it went went down. And let's see, one operator, I can't say their name, but um, oh <laughs> no, they're not actually in the room, so that's fine. <laughs>